Hello, and welcome to a Star Wars Legion episode of How to Paint. Today we're painting up some rebel scum, and we'll be doing these guys in a Endor theme, so let's get into it. You can find these miniatures in the core set or as a standalone expansion. So I've had these guys since the game came out. Um, I'm not really much of a rebel player. And this was back when I primed them. I didn't really know what I was doing. So I'm going to reprime these guys with some black and then followed by a zenithal white from above. And what I really should have done is probably stripped the miniatures first of all the paint and then applied the prime. But I made sure not to obscure too many details with the paint here, I didn't want to apply it too thick. So to begin the camo, we're going to be using Malignant Green. And I'll be using reference for some of the outfits and also just coming up with some of my own combinations with the others. And for the camo, I'm going to be adding some detail with some Ardennes green. And here's some flow enhancer that I've added to the paint. I really want to water this right the way down, but still keep the pigment pretty vibrant. Flow enhancer is really good at extending drying times, as well as watering down paints without losing their pigment. So I'm just applying this in random splotches all over the areas that I want the camo. As you can see, I'm batch painting these guys. Uh, some of them are still disassembled. These were some really early models, so it was only the arms that you had to attach to build them, which is kind of funny. I'm also making sure to get the backpacks in the same camo scheme as well. I mixed up a light grey for some of these areas of the costume, and I'm limiting this to sleeves and t-shirts. Normally I'd have the miniatures fully assembled, but I figured while they're still like this I can get some of these straps and things a little easier. And then I've added some more flow enhancer to some of that light grey and I'm just applying it to some areas of the camo just to add some variation here. I'll be using Bane Blade Brown. And here I'm applying this to the vests and some of the jackets. And this is the third of the three main colors on the uniform here. So I'm just adding variation to each one of these guys. I'll try to get one of everything on everybody, but some people are just in full camo and some people are just in the brown and the gray. And then I'm making sure that everybody's boots are in the Bane Blade Brown. Here I'm using some XV88. And I'm just applying this to the characters with gloves. And I'll be using some Pallid Bone Speed Paint. And I'm applying this to the canvas and soft goods parts of the helmets here. For the metal rim of the hat, I'll be using Caliban Green. And just carefully applying this all the way around the rim. For any of the straps and belts, I'll be using a dark wood speed paint. And just 
applying this with some accuracy just to make sure I don't get over some of those other base coats already. Because these are such old sculpts, I'm hoping to just get a nice quick and easy recipe that doesn't require a lot of like detail work. And then for the weapons, I'll be using Grim Black. And this is just a straight application, straight onto the weapons here. For the skin tones, I'm going to be using a few variations on flesh tones. So I've got some Rhinox Hide, Bugman's Glow, and my usual Pink Flesh, and Deck Tan, of course. And I'm just adding some of the darker tones here first. So this is Bugman's Glow. And this will be my first base coat. To add some variation to the skin tones, this is a pink flesh as a base coat here. And lastly, a Rhinox Hide as a base coat. This allows me to add some variations to the troopers and a little bit more customization on the skin tones. So for the highlights, I'm just mixing up a nice gradient here between all of these colors. And then I'm just applying some highlights. I'm not going too detailed on these faces. Like I say, these are older sculpts, so they don't look the best. But I'm just doing two or three build-ups in highlight. I'm also adding in Mournfang Brown as a highlight variation. And a lot of these troopers have facial hair, so I'm just using the browns and blacks that are already on the palette, uh, adding some variety. This guy's kind of a famous extra, so I'm using reference for him. And he's got a white beard, so this is a very watered down grim black. And then a white highlight. And for the Doros, we're going to be using Kalidor Sky. And this is just a straight base coat on his face here. And to help shade those details, we're using Coelia Green Shade. And this is actually a little bit more blue than green, despite the name. So I'm just applying this all over. And then I'm going back in with the Calador Sky to bring some of that blue back out. I'm carefully applying this as a highlight to the top parts of his face and the top of his head and then using a damp brush just to feather that edge I'm using some of that deck tan to help mix in some highlights because it's a warm white it won't necessarily desaturate the color too much unlike a pure white and I'm just building up the layers like I did on the other faces the eyes are going to be red, so to get the most vibrancy out of this, I'm going to be using a base coat of pure white on them first. And then I'll be using Mephiston Red and just going back over that white.
and then I'm just adding a few more highlights to the face here. Next I'm switching to Athonian Camo Shade and I'm applying this to all of the camouflage areas on the models. This really is like a nice all over wash. It helps bring out some of those details that the contrast paint maybe didn't do. It also helps really tie in those colors that we've been dabbing onto the camo. And you can see here, it helps soften those edges a little bit and really tie in together the whole camo theme. And for the other parts of the costume, I'm going to be using Agrex Earthshade. And so I'm applying this to all of the browns on the costume, the sleeves and the gloves. And lastly, I'm going to be using a Seraphim Sepia. And I'm using this for any of the areas that there's still some primer showing or anything where there's some white showing that I missed. I ended up using this really just around the face and neck areas. I'm going back in with some of that light gray again and just help brightening up some of those sleeves. For the leader's goggles, this was just a whatever was left from that grim black speed paint. Uh, it was really watered down, so I'm just applying this very lightly. And for his lenses, I'm using Troll Slayer Orange. And then a second coat of that really watered down grim black on the lenses. And a pure black on the rims. I'm going back in with the orange just to dab a few highlights and glints on the goggles here. And then I've mixed some white in with that orange, made like kind of a peachy color and just adding the final glint on the goggles. For the belt buckles, I'm just mixing together a couple of grays. This is a medium gray, light gray, and then a pure white highlight. You could also do this with a metallic paint, of course. And the ear flaps on the hats are in black. I'm giving all the weapons a, just a quick dry brushing gray. And then lastly, using that light gray just to add some chips and damage to the green band on the hat. So for the bases, I'm going to be trying to match these to the Ewoks that I did in a previous video, which I'll link here. So this is AK's Wet Ground Mud. followed by a dark wood speed paint on top. And then I'm just using some Elmer's glue here and I'm just gluing down some leaves and debris and things like that just to make it look like a forest floor.
And the last thing to do is just paint the rims black and that finishes out these models. And there you have it, a very quick and easy recipe for some Star Wars Legion Rebels. I was kind of scared of these guys for such a long time because it was so many different colors and things, but I managed to get into a workflow that didn't require too many colors. I'm really happy with the way these guys turned out and I've had them since the game first came out, so it's really nice to get these guys on the table finally. Once again, thank you for watching the content. Like the video if you really enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.